My name is Mara Zelt, and I'm going to be presenting on the impacts of social media on public awareness and behavior related to antimicrobial resistance. As you may know, antimicrobial resistance, uh, hereafter we're going to call that AMR, is a serious and growing public health issue. Uh, that's why a few years ago, um, a nationwide team of extension professionals, extension and research professionals, uh, formed a group to be working on this problem within existing extension networks of communication and education. And this group is called I Am Responsible. And during the three years that we've been operating, um, We've had a variety of education outreach efforts. One of those is social media. And so this assessment is going to be looking at how the social media efforts alone have been able to meet the objectives of the project as a whole. Specifically, the project has four objectives. Number one, to increase capacity to create and deliver educational content on antimicrobial resistance, to facilitate the dissemination of research-based materials, to effectively engage audiences of disparate backgrounds, and to empower behavioral change. The team has four uh, social media platforms currently. But over this period, um, we've developed more than 700 original posts. All, or I should say most of the content that has been developed for our different social, our team social media outlets is available um, to other people to use freely as, as they would like at the uh, I Am Responsible Media Library hosted on the LPELC website, or you can find it directly through the URL go.unl.edu slash rw9c. In order to assess how the social media management and outreach on these platforms is working to meet our objectives as a whole, um, we use a sort of four different combinations of available data. So to measure how well our social media um, efforts are doing to build our network capacity, we looked at the total followers that we've accumulated in the different platforms over that period. And we also did an analysis or uh, of our followers' profiles, uh, keyword search of those, uh, to give us some idea of how they describe themselves, but which usually includes uh, some information about what they do and their interest areas. For a measure of dissemination, we, we looked at the total reach of the posts that we made, and the reach means the number of people who saw a post. And then we um, looked at the geographical spread um, of the follower locations. Then we, uh, for engagement, uh, all the social media platforms report on something called engagement rate. And that basically means that an engage, so an engagement is that somebody who saw a post did something with the post. So that would be considered an engagement. And then your engagement rate is the number, is the number of engagements that you get compared to the number of people who saw the post. And then to assess a behavioral change, um, we put together a 20 question survey, which we dispersed annually to our audiences. And those questions are on um, their knowledge and understanding of antimicrobial resistance. Um, the behaviors that they believe will be effective against antimicrobial resistance and uh, any behaviors that they themselves uh, say that they have changed, and also uh, their attitudes towards the I am responsible team and um, the content that we provide. Um, so breaking down the results of these different assessment strategies, um, when we're looking at building our network capacity, uh, the total social media following for the different accounts is now over 4,000. However, when we explore who is following us using the sort of keyword analysis of our followers. We find, um, as you can see in figure one, um, that there is a high pre preponderance of people who are already engaged with this topic. They, in their own descriptions of themselves, they use the words antimicrobial resistance. They use the words public health, infectious disease, PhD students. This is an indicator that we're, we're growing an audience that is highly um, represented by people who are working within AMR already and in STEM fields, especially in medicine. In terms of our dissemination, again, we've had uh, more than a million impressions uh, and, and roughly 1,300 impressions for every piece of content that we've made. Um, and we've seen a very a global dis, uh, dissemination, uh, particularly large hubs of followers present in Europe, specifically in the UK, and increasingly in parts of Africa. Um, those correlate to places where there's a lot of public interest and public activity um, at antimicrobial resistance. And then behavioral change, we've been less successful at getting data on behavioral change. Our survey, which we post uh, annually, we post and promote every year, has a very low uh, participation, not enough to be representative of our total population. Uh, we have put together a few highlights of the data. Um, we found that you know 40% of the population has a higher level degree, medical, doctor, or veterinary degree. That agrees with what we're seeing in the keyword search of our follower bios. 65% said they regularly tell others about antimicrobial resistance. We know that that's not representative of the population as a whole, uh, but we did have of those people who responded, 100% said that they considered or our team to be a reliable and valuable source of content on antimicrobial resistance. Uh, and then the last thing that we considered was audience engagement. And here again, we see similar results. So uh, we had the overall engagement rate uh, is about 1.53%. 
Uh, that's a little bit above the averages for each of the platforms involved. Where we do see higher uh, engagements compared to our average, we're in posts where we were directly mentioning people, which makes sense because you appear within their um, within their own notifications. Um, where we saw less engagement with our posts was on um, topics like prescribing. They also found low engagement with topics on livestock or agriculture. So overall, what we found is that social media activity alone is highly beneficial for building a recognized brand. Um, that could be trusted worldwide by experts in the field. But we will need other tools if we want to engage. A couple other takeaways in terms of this type of assessment. Um, we would say that in future iterations, we will um, want to include better strategies for delivering the survey. We've had very low responses, as I said. So we need to get maybe creative with um, how we're delivering that survey and um, encouraging folks to participate and give responses there. Um, but overall, of course, we the team is going to continue to work on um, antimicrobial resistance, uh, identifying and meeting education needs. And uh, I need to make sure that I thank our funding agency, the USDA NEFA Awards. Uh, there are several uh, that go towards funding the Iron Responsible Team, uh, educational efforts overall, of which social media is part of them.